Hey, what's going on, guys? You're watching 24 7 Gaming for You, and this is the Dishonored interview straight from Gamescom. Dishonored is a game be being made by Arcane Studios. Um, Rafael Colantonio and I are the co creative directors. Uh, my name is Harvey Smith, and um, Raf and Arcane have worked on Arx Fatalis and Dark Messiah, Might and Magic. I've worked on the Deus Ex games. All right. Um, Raf and I have both been in video games for about 18 years, and in Dishonored you play a supernatural assassin in a steampunk city. Uh, you play Corvo Atano, who is the bodyguard of the Empress, who is falsely accused of her murder. And uh, one of the things that's best about the game, we think, is that you can play with combat or with stealth, you can play with uh, very brutally, very violently, or literally without killing a single person throughout the entire game. Uh, you collect runes through the world, and then you buy your powers with a with an economy. Sort of each rune, each power has a different cost. Yeah. Uh, so, you might buy one set of powers. I might buy a completely different set of powers. Um, Could you tell us in more detail about the features? Uh, well, one of the biggest features is uh, first-person melee combat. The entire game is first-person. Okay. So you fight with uh, pistol, crossbow, maid, sword. Uh, but you do it all from the first person. Right. So you can like attack, block, counter attack. If you sneak up on an enemy and they're unaware of you, you can assassinate them with one, one blow. Right. Uh, or you can sneak past them and not, not kill them at all, not engage in them in, in combat. Um, so the stealth is a big feature as well. Like uh, enemy awareness is based on a view cone. So it's not just like you get in the radius and they know you're there or not. It's, it's they may or may not have heard you. If you knock a bottle over and it hits the ground, uh, a guard around the corner might say, hey, what was that? I'm going to go check it out. And he right. walks around the corner, so it's very analog AI. Okay. And, so, uh, and then on top of that, there's supernatural powers. So you can stop time, you can possess someone or an animal, like a fish or a dog or a, a person. You can uh, teleport short distances, so you can teleport up to the rooftop and back down into the alley. and. Another feature is the way the maps are built. They're not just a, a, a linear street, but you can go behind the building, over the rooftop, into the river. You know, it's you can swim. You know, it's it's a very non-linear map approach. Well, there's there's four difficulty modes. There's easy, medium, hard, and very hard. Yeah. And in each one, the combat ability of your enemies goes up, and their perception, their hearing, and their sight goes up. It gets keener. And then also, uh, health potions and mana potions uh, do are less effective to you. Uh, it, at higher difficulty levels. So, uh, if you're a hardcore gamer looking for a challenge, then one of the things you could try to do is put it on very hard and try to ghost the game. No one knew you were there. Or try to play the entire game without killing a single person. It becomes very difficult. And uh, with that self-imposed constraint, uh, you have to get very creative in how you play. On the other hand, if you're brand new to games or you don't play many first-person action games, um, put it on easy and just follow the story and you know sneak your way through the world and everything's a little easier. It's definitely a blend of first person action yeah. and RPG. So what is the release date for Dishonored? Uh, in date? the US it ships on October 9th and in Europe October 12th. Right. Uh, it will ship for Xbox 360, PS3 and PC, uh, for Steam and for uh, games for Windows but not games for Windows Live. Okay. 